Audubon, Coon Rapids Bayard. Both are top five eight-man teams and both are looking to take control of their district. One of these two schools did just that on Friday night. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. There's a reason why we call this the meat grinder. Uh, yeah. You know, coming in tonight, uh, undefeated, uh, winner here tonight, takes control of the districts, four versus five. Uh, we got all the accolades, but this could be a, this could just be a plain beatdown on both sides. The energy was high to start the game, but the Wheelers were able to strike first. He's going to go right up the middle, and he's going to be hit at the goal line. And, oh, he's in. He's in. He was hit at the goal line, but he scored. Touchdown, Wheelers. Six nothing is our score. 2.13 to go. Another possession later, Audubon struck again, thanks to an insane catch by senior Caden Smith. Formation Smith looks deep, throws it over here to Caden Smith. Oh, what a good catch. catch. It. Great catch what that time. catch. Jalen Rosenbeck was all over him, and uh, oh, Caden's going to come up. He's got a bad ankle. He did something on that, but what a catch he made. The Wheelers took a 14-0 lead into the break, but Kuhn would respond early in the third. Peyton Clipperton's arms and legs added to the Crusaders' scoring drive, putting Coon Rapids Baird on the board early in the third. 14-0 is the Ottoman lead, and it's going to be a quarterback sneak that time by Clipperton. He's still on his feet. He's down five, and he's in. Touchdown, Crusaders. That time, that was a seven-yard run that time by Clipperton. The Wheelers responded immediately, putting six up on the board of their own. This time it was Skyler Schultz hitting pay dirt. Now Schultz is going to keep it up the middle. Touchdown, Wheelers. Touchdown, Wheelers with 6.29 to go in the third. After a penalty on the extra point by the Crusaders, the Wheelers decided to take advantage, attempting to go for two. Going to take it up the middle, and it's in it. It's good. Two-point conversion. 22 to 6. Cooner Abbott's Baird would strike again, but it was a little too late for the fourth ranked team and eight man. Second and goal from the two. They're going to hand off the Eagle, and he's in there for the touchdown. No, they're going to say no. Yes, he's in there. I was going to say he was deep. So with 8.58 to go, touchdown Eagle. The Wheelers would punch it in one more time, extending their lead and shutting the door proving themselves as the dominant team in their district. Shotgun, he's gonna roll right, pitch it right, in for the touchdown, and that is Caden Smith. Thank you for watching this week's Roselle Mutual Game of the Week. Stay tuned for next week's Game of the Week location after these ads. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. Next week, we will be in Carroll, Iowa, featuring the Knights of Kemper Catholic when they look to get back on track, facing a district foe in Red Oak.